everybody. I'm doing a 30 minute session for a client and this is an Abby and Joseph session. So I'm going to be sharing 30 minutes of energy work and wisdom and Joe will also be sharing 30 minutes of energy work and wisdom. And we're going to be exploring um, these very specific goals, which I'm going to read here. I'll also put a link in the description. So if you're interested in seeing what Joe's experience was with this client, um, you'll be able to find a link to the video there. All right. So I'm going to read the goals and get tuned in. So number one, release trauma around throat chakra and sacral chakra. Okay. Number two, to find out my purpose of being here at this time on earth and to start making progress on my spiritual psychic career. I need clarity, lots of clarity. Okay. To speak without any stutter and to speak with complete clarity. Okay. To be able to handle emotions such as deep insecurity, resentment towards self, others, jealousy, and non-acceptance with more ease of heart. And you also mentioned that you feel a very close ener um, connection with Arcturian energy. I think that's that's awesome. Thank you for sharing that with me. I've, I've actually in the last week been really experiencing Arcturian energy in my own life. So the divine time for your session to be booked right now and what I'm experiencing with Arcturian energy is just really blended. It's really, um, we're working in sync. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and relax here and get tuned in. And we'll see what we discover. And thank you so much for being open to sharing this with others. Okay. Okay. I kind of want to keep it open too, so if any type of Arcturian messages come through, I'd, I'd really like to share those with you. Alright, so I'm experiencing several things all of a sudden at once. And one of the feelings is awesome. It's like feeling really clean, energetically clean and balanced, like really fresh air. And you can taste the freshness. You can smell the freshness of the air. I hear wind chimes. I also experience which is what is like being completely myself. So sometimes we don't realize how much of ourself that we share with everybody in our life. And we, we get kind of linked to people without even realizing it. But to pull all your energy back to you. To just be completely you. That's another feeling that I get. And it's very pleasant. Very bright feeling. So there's air. Like the element of air. The sound of wind chimes. There's really fresh uh, breeze. Clean feeling. And the experience of being centered in your own energy field. And the energy that is yours is is not there's no sort of links or attachments to anybody or anything not even future dreams just bringing it all completely back to yourself that's the first thing i experience that's a really good start huh i know we're wanting to look at the throat sacral chakra um, but I'll, I'm going to just share what comes first, okay? And, and just keep moving in, in the directions that your goals are, are set for All right, now there's a feeling of waiting. And I hear what is kind of like a like a, a tapping, like um, like I'm waiting and so I'm t passing the time by by tapping my foot on the ground or it's almost like a but a finger that's just sort of tapping on a table like the hand is set on a table and the finger is just tapping like um, it's a feeling of waiting. And I see that this hand is blue in color. <sighs> okay, this is going to get a lot more complicated. Even stressful. There's <sighs> a lot of anger starting to come out now. <sighs> it feels kind of like disappointment as well. And when I feel this energy, this anger, um, 
it almost like it has different compartments and there's uh, like lightning bolts that are coming out of it and cracking in different areas like whip sounding lightning bolts. Um, feelings really being released right now. It's stressful, it's frustrated which creates anger and then it also feels disappointed too. And now the finger is even more busy. Like, I'm in a hurry, you know? Like, I don't have all day. But yet you're being forced to wait. So, again, I'm being asked... It's like the first experience that I had. We're going to bring all this energy back. It's not the anger we're bringing back. Because we're releasing that. Don't need it anymore, right? But you're the human. You're not... You don't get to control reality your higher self guides you and your guides guide you and your angels guide you you're always in the right place at the right time so be completely at peace with every place and every moment and if you feel like you're waiting and you're still waiting and maybe you're missing something maybe there's something else you're supposed to be doing if there's something else you're supposed to be doing you would be doing it so you got to continue to trust but there's a reason why we're having this session together because it, it's almost like a reorganization of your energy and an understanding of your, there's some kind of identity, um, an energy about identity that's going on here. But I'm pulling so much of who you are back to who you are because you don't have to give any of your energy away. And if things are frustrating, feel it, okay? Okay experience it no judgment you're human so we we have feelings for a reason not so we could ignore them but so we could sit with them feel them so i'm just continuing to encourage more of any type of pent-up frustration or anger or i'm tired of waiting and maybe i'm not picking up on certain messages or something um, just any of that, we're going to just keep releasing that out while simultaneously bringing more of your identity back to you. That's, that's the next thing that I experience, okay? And there's nothing but time here. No rush. You're, this is so good because we're kicking up so much. All right, because you're really kind of, your muscles are very tight and you're... Um, really clenched up and you're intense there's an intensity about you I welcome I welcome you to be as intense as you feel you need to be I don't know why but I'm way taller than you in this scene I feel like I'm like a tree <laughs> and you're just a regular sized human but I'm really tall in comparison to you and I'm standing really firm as well and solid in who and what I am and what I believe and what I speak. And then I'm challenging you to stand in your own belief, not in my belief, but in yours. And for some reason, that is inspiring you to turn like a black and purple color. And it makes me think of berries. I think of blueberries, but it's really intense, rich purple um, and black, but the colors are very dark, and I think of blueberries as well. Again, there's co a complicated, you've got some complicated stuff going on with your energy field. <sighs> because it's just like those lightning bolts that are being sent out, you, you, this intense you that's changing colors. <sighs> there's something about you not being completely, like all that you are is just in the balance of your it's like within you you don't any, owe anybody more of you and it's not like you give yourself away either you own your own identity you're going to be shown so many things in your life it's almost like you're on your way to discovering like the mirror mirror on the wall like uh, uh, they keep showing me you're on your way to discovering answers okay like you had just found a magical mirror and when you look into it you receive insight and guidance and it's it's truth 
it's um it feels articulate not fuzzy not like um I don't know about you, but the spirit realm, you say, okay, well, when is this going to happen? Soon. <laughs> the spirit realm and their word soon. I mean, 10 years later, still not happening. When though? Soon. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm never looking forward to anything. <laughs> There's something about the, like, um, they can speak in these, like, uh, riddles in a way the spirit realm can. Um, but this mirror doesn't, it seems more articulate. It seems more defined. Um, more specific so it's not um, like you're looking at a you're looking it's like the mirror is a reflection of art where you see the mountain and the tree and the animals or what I mean it's very articulate the verse the the art where it's like um, different colors blurred together and then you're trying to make some very articulate meaning out of it um, they show me this mirror and you gaining insight and it seems grounded and solid it's interesting because you're absorbing it into yourself through your eyes it has nothing to do with your throat and because they're not showing me you speaking about it at this time you're just absorbing it into yourself and there's no, you, it's not as if you have to say anything. There's no even push like you need to start talking about this stuff. There's nothing of that kind going on here either. It's just simply you receiving right now. And this session is, again, I'm here to really help you pull your energy back into yourself. And to stand your ground in what you, you represent what you represent it's almost as if you haven't i mean you you definitely could there's aspects of your identity that it feels like you could really solidly be an expression of but there's also this sort of um unclear aspects so you're just simply not there yet when it comes to self-expression on the level that you're wanting to reach. But that's also because they're talking to me about you need to bring your identity back to you. It's, it's almost like you give aspects of yourself and then you just let them stay with other people when really it's something to think about, okay? And... I mean, as an energy worker myself, I can feel, I can feel this stuff. Um, if you're still developing those types of senses, one way that you could bring the energy back to you every day is just to experience your feet. My feet, my legs, my hips, my torso, my arms, my face, my head. And now experience yourself as though you're a breeze, okay? You're wind. And you're inhaling the wind of yourself back into your own being. And it just, it, it just takes one breath, okay? Just a nice inhalation. It could be just a second long inhalation. But, but it's like an intention or a knowing that you have received yourself now. I experience myself. I'm in my own body. I'm, I'm breathing myself back into myself. I am whole. I am myself. And that alone, that simple um, technique alone, you do that every day, oh my gosh, it will you will be very centered in yourself. <sighs> Man, I feel like there's so much I want to tell you, but I one step at a time, right? I can't just blah. <laughs> it's like opening a treasure chest, like, oh my god, 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 there's so much stuff in here. <laughs> but you can only look at one real thing at a time if you really want to get to know each little thing in the treasure chest. So I can only go so fast. You have a lot of bright energy to share, that's for sure. It's white, it's white light is how I experience it right now. And I'm going back to the scene where I'm this like super tall tree and you're just this normal sized person and you're like kind of a dark purple and black and you're calm. And there's no reaction and there's something about reacting that creates this electricity and these lightning bolts to strike. 
but it's just dissipating because you're you're bringing the energy back to you and you don't have to be reactive you don't have to um send it out give it away um it's like a composure <sighs> okay let me see what the next thing is here See, as I'm talking about all this stuff, you have a lot pent up in your solar plexus and in your heart. Um, and it's it's actually really healthy that we're going through this because I feel it's dis dispersing downward. So this is louder than your throat and your sacral chakra right now. So um, just letting this kind of just release out, it's just going down the hips and out the feet. So it's just, it's just opening up more and feeling a lot more breathable. And it's um, belief in yourself as well, confidence in yourself. Again, there's the word identity that keeps coming back to me. And I start to, again, see the scene with me as a tree and you standing here and, and you, you're, again, bringing it back to yourself and you feel like you're more your identity. <sighs> you really got to think about this one. In what ways may you be sharing yourself but you're giving yourself away somehow i'm just think about it okay it's just going to help you achieve your goals when you can when you when you can shift that behavior but don't worry don't feel like it, you have to figure this out today i mean this is could be a lifelong thing but already doing in this session, it's already giving you so much of your identity back. You got to believe in yourself. It's circulating the energy back to you. So if you believe in somebody else, um, it's it's like, how do I put this? You could lose your own identity. Because you would see someone else's identity and mold and shape yourself into their identity. When these Arcturian energies are really encouraging you to find out who you are. Obviously, as humans, we need each other because we learn and grow together. And we learn more about ourselves through other people. And that can be very inspiring, very motivating. And... and through those interactions, we slowly get to know our own identity, like who, who we are. And once we, we start to know who we are, we can build upon that. So think about what do you know about you that is unique to you that you could start building upon it. And it takes time. I mean, when I started doing YouTube, for instance, I wasn't doing psychic sessions at that time. And I was very shy and self-conscious and terrified to talk about things that nobody, I could never talk to anybody about. And so I was afraid to be judged. And But you start to share messages and you start to reach people who are like-minded. And that encouragement gives you confidence and it helps you grow within yourself. And then over time... Um, you find more and more about of who you are and you start to allow that to shine through as as your special um, starlight you know the gift that you are to the world without giving yourself away you can just be you and we get to just enjoy seeing you enjoy receiving your messages without taking any part of you other than just the message itself so to speak or the pleasantness of spending you know the time with you i mean if you were to make youtube videos for instance um, listening to your message, receiving your message, and not taking taking from you or you giving yourself away. Just think about that because that keeps coming up here. Yeah, you're I, again, they're taking me back to the scene with the tree. I'm like a really tall tree, and you feel a lot more composed, a lot more like yourself. 
And even the colors, there's white now included in this dark purple and black. You're still learning how to grow in your own way. That's where the throat chakra comes in. Self-expression and identity because to know your identity, you can express yourself. But if you don't know your identity, then what is a self that you are? What is yourself? If you don't know your identity kind of thing, how can you express yourself if you don't have an identity? <laughs> you know, <laughs> so there's something intermixed here about this. Yeah, this is another, this is interesting too. <laughs> okay. They, and I really feel Arcturian um, consciousness here, but there's, there's so many beings of love with us all the time. <sighs> okay. They're showing me an extension of you. That's it. I don't know. You're standing in like another dimension way over there and you're kind of with your head down. And you don't know what to do with yourself. Hmm. It has to do with receiving and then expressing what you receive. Believing in yourself so that you can express what you receive. I mean, they're really, it, it, you, are, you have to be receiving higher wisdom. You have to be receiving enlightenment from these Arcturian beings. You you have messages to share. It's almost like you, you're blocking yourself from yourself because of confidence, insecurity. What if you stopped, like, let's say you had no labeling of like, well, I, I, I don't know what to say or I'm not... I'll never say it right, or, you know, let's just say there none of that existed. And you just said something. And you just let that be it. Why does anything else have to be in the way of just saying something? I mean, I keep... I keep talking to you as though you have your own YouTube channel, or you're out there sharing with people in a way, like on Instagram or Facebook or um, through some, you know, medium of this kind where you're expressing yourself. What would be in the way of you just saying something? Now, whatever there might be in the way, just erase it because you can do that. And I feel like you could do that quite quickly. Makes sense why this mirror that I keep seeing about you has a an articulate kind of defined message. Arcturians are articulate, de defined um, expressions. What if you were to say that you have to start somewhere, all right? Especially when you're a, has a psychic, spiritual um, pathway. You, so much of the mind is going to try to move you into the things that make sense. Um, to work with what we can see, therefore, if we see it, we know it is real, right? The spiritual pathway is so invisible. I mean, you're constantly, they'll tell you one thing this week, another thing that week, and you're being constantly molded and shaped every single week. You don't really know where you're going. <laughs> you just have to like wait for the next inspiration and just like do whatever you think you should be doing next. <laughs> That's what it feels like to be a like in a psychic role. Like, okay, you create some version of a structure and you follow through with that, but there's all this other like random inspirations going on that are changing every single week, you know? You've got to start somewhere. And I wouldn't, it, you really should consider this, okay? So step one, we're just going to take it back, back a notch here to towards the beginning of the session, you know, where you're feeling your own feet and you're breathing yourself back into yourself. You're bringing you back to you. Okay. The next is I'm going to start um, sharing my experiences with Arcturian beings. Whether you have an articulated message or not, don't worry about it. 
you could make a message. I'm telling you there's something about you and having a YouTube channel or a Facebook or something like this. And you, let's say, let's say you have a YouTube channel and you woke up in the middle of the night and you really felt, um, you know, you saw it in your third eye for maybe 30 seconds. There were some beings standing there. You have no idea what they were saying, but you may, it made you feel like you were glowing on the inside. Just a couple minutes video, all right? That's already you identifying yourself as a psychic person, having real psychic, um, spiritual, enlightened, um, interdimensional experiences, and then getting that experience and message out there. Because there's people who need to hear this, okay? And so that is where you begin. You begin with something like this. Tell yourself what you already know about yourself. And it would not be too out there for you to start saying, I am choosing to work with Arcturian beings at this time. And I want to share with people the experiences that I have with them. And it could be very on the human level too. Like, hey, I was, um, hi everybody on YouTube. Thanks for watching my video. I um, wanted to share today about this Arcturian video I watched. And, um, you know, this really related to me because I had this other experience in my life. And, you know, and that's, you have to start somewhere. You're u using the Legos to build your own awesome masterpiece. And, and you're building it on, based on nothing that you really know other than as best you know. <laughs> that's how you become, that's how you build a psychic business. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like this, okay? You have to start somewhere. Articulate what it is that you, where you want to start. Okay, I'm going to start with Arcturian beings. State that to the universe. I'm bringing it all back to myself. My identity is with me. I'm going to work on my, you know, confidence and security, developing my identity by starting somewhere. Um, so I'm going to start a YouTube channel and I'm going to, I'm going to, my first Lego block, you know, is this, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. My next Lego block is, um, I'm going to share messages that I experienced with Arcturians. And then my next Lego block is any other experiences that I have, whether it's Arcturian or not. Um, and then my next Lego block is how I've been developing my psychic senses or how I've been overcoming um, my challenges with confidence. Um, you know, so you see how you're starting to build your purpose, your life pur purpose. Sometimes it's going to feel like it's you're going to want it to be as straightforward as I could read it in a book. You know, chapter one of my life purpose, chapter two of my life purpose. I just want it to be laid out like the red carpet. Just give it to me. Give it to me straight. <laughs> but uh, this is me giving it to you as straight as I possibly can. I, I can tell you right now, I feel within my heart that you will be pursuing this. You And, and it's a really awesome beginning for you, okay? <laughs> it really is. So... And it's going to be enlightening. It's going to give you access to who you truly are. By participating in an activity and experience of sharing um, that is in balance with, with your spirit, with your heart, you know? This is also going to help your throat. It's also going to open up your sacral chakra because it's about self-love, you know? Self-expression is also self-love because you're choosing to express yourself and let other people get to know you, you know, and love you. And then you get to receive that love. You know, it's cool. It's really good. All right, so I'm supposed to share this with you. I'm going back to the scene where I saw the finger kind of tapping on the table, like a am in a hurry kind of feeling. You can let that all go now because you have your build it first building blocks. And now you're, I, you know, I'm waiting for the inspiration. Well, now you're manifesting it because you're the, you're the building block. You are, it's not, this one isn't going to come to you anymore. You are, it already has come to you. So now you need to work with what has come to you and start um, expressing it, which is now going to build your, your life purpose. It's also going to open your throat and your sacral chakra because you can get energy work all day long, but a little, you have to do a little bit of activity yourself. It's kind of like you can, um, all right. 
All right, <laughs> this, I, I, this example comes to me, okay? You can do energy work to help yourself lose weight, for instance, but it's also important that you live in the 3D, like our physical reality. So walking and eating really healthy foods is really good to, to go along with energy work, you know? <laughs> so you can get energy work to open up your throat and your sacral chakra, but in the end, you also have to speak. And, and so some of that unlodging is going to come from your motivations, your creations, your, um, your manifesting your own dreams. And then the energy of being proud of yourself coming back to you and being able to work on all these other vulnerabilities in, in, in the process. Yeah, I, I feel it like it really feels like this year could be a real like t taking off of sorts for you. And I keep again, they show me the mirror mirror on the wall um, then provides answers or um, insight. OK, and so you have to start at the beginning and and work your way into that sensitivity, but see it as happening for you. See it as happening this year see it as happening today <laughs> and you can start today and be open to that now happening coming for you and it's going to happen as you continue to um, build and grow and share your identity so what i'm going to do next is um i really want to all right, I see you and Arcturian Collective, all right, is a collective of energy that really is with that frequency, that vibe. And I'm just going to really help you to feel that in the feet and all just vibrating throughout your entire being from within and then throughout. And this truth is within you. And give yourself permission to acknowledge that. Give yourself permission to know that you are seen by Arcturian beings. That you are supported and you are receiving messages from them. <sighs> this is very, very helpful. Because I can feel the vibration just going throughout your whole body. It's... <sighs> throughout all your chakras it's a little bit exhausting yeah my experience of of you is even so much as you could say five years down the road and looking back and seeing what you're capable of and saying, wow, look at all that I did. I, I got this thing started. I developed myself. Um, I developed my sensitivity. I am sharing wisdom and guidance to help the human race. I'm growing and developing my own identity and self-expression. I'm not, I'm not hard on myself about my voice. I'm just letting myself share a little bit as I feel inspired. And I mean, you could make a YouTube video that's just two or three minutes long. People appreciate that, even if it's just a couple minutes, and that'll get you used to speaking. I see your throat opening up faster than you could imagine. It's just you holding yourself back. All right, I'm going to do one more thing here. So not only am I just, it's like Arcturian collective energy. It's just this energy body that I experience within yourself vibrating throughout, okay? Now I'm going to take this energy, this collective, and I'm going to place it in, in vibrationally into each and every one of your chakras. So it's really concentrated in there. Arcturian energy is really concentrated in there. I mean, you really need to just go with this, okay? So I'm just going to start by placing it within your third eye.
really helping to enlighten and illuminate your mind. Placing this Arcturian Collective into your sacral chakra. Helping you to work on self-love and to see how beautiful you are inside and out. This is creating some emotional release here. And placing Arcturian Collective into your throat. Helping that vibrate here. It's like working with the sacral to give yourself permission for self-expression, which is self-love. Okay? Allowing the Arcturian beings to assist you with this because they're already there. <sighs> Placing Arcturian Collective within your solar plexus chakra. No, nothing to be shy about when it comes to your emotions because they aren't judging you and they want you to feel it's part of being human and ask for perspective that maybe you're struggling to see right now and they will they will get a way to they will download that within you you will find an answer to that okay it's like the mirror of, of thing that keeps coming up with you I would love to have a mirror. <laughs> I would love to have more of an articulate experience. I just feel like I'm kind of like dragged around from one part of the ping pong table to the other. And I just figure my way through as I go. <laughs> That's what it's like. You just go with it. It's called going with the flow, even if the flow feels really weird. <sighs> All right, Arcturian Collective within your heart, okay? Also, that's part of the truth of your identity. <sighs> to really feel that love inside yourself and to feel that love that's there for you. <sighs> to feel that beautiful connection. Give yourself permission to feel loved by these art beautiful Arcturian beings. <sighs> All right, now Arcturian collective energies in your crown chakra. And really expanding that light up into the stars. And this Arcturian collective within your root. And expanding that energy deep into the earth. And there's a reason why you are planted here on this planet. And you have a very valuable purpose. And you're going to discover it. You're already discovering it. Once you start to participate in the manifestation of it, it's going to go fast. It's going to become more and more and more very quickly. Because you're getting out of the way of yourself and you're just accepting yourself as you are right now. And you will learn as you go. You will learn as you go. I just, I, I would say you're totally ready <laughs> to go to the next step. Think about it, okay? Now, don't just think about it and fantasize about it. Make it happen. Make it happen. And now the energy circulates back to you. It's all self-love and self-expression. Healing your throat and your sacral chakra by participating in the human world. I needed to get this message to you for sure. I'll be curious to see what Joe has shown. Because we're both going to be seeing our own experience it's like our own experience of you and we're being guided to tell you what what abby needs to tell you what joe needs to tell you so you can get two different perspectives on your goals while also receiving that energy work and and guidance okay thank you so much for the opportunity to connect with you today thank you very much for sharing um if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have a beautiful day, everybody.